Hi everybody. Um, I'm coming on today to demonstrate some products that I got from Caspire. I'll put their link in the description box below. Basically they sell um, hot wax sealing products. <clears throat> so what I have here is the little chimney. You put your um, little candle. This is just a old lid from a, a candle. Something, you know, a tile or something heat kind of heat resistant underneath the candle. Put your candle there. And we will light this. And then put your little chimney on top. Like that. Put your chimney on and then this is the spoon that will hold the wax so we put that there and these are wax pellets that I already had in my stash so I'm just going to put three different colors of wax there and then you just wait a few minutes for that wax to completely melt So while we're waiting for that, these are the seal designs, and I don't know how well you can see that. I like the square ones a lot. This one's got a square and then a circle within the square and then a little floral kind of design inside. This one is a like a checkerboard with little flowers. And the nice thing is you can take the handles off and replace the heads. So this is like a Mandela design. So we'll do one square and one circle. And I'm just going to give this a little stir. It's almost dissolved or almost melted, I should say. Just give it another second or so. And then I'll show you if you haven't used the wax seals before, I usually put them on um, my Christmas card envelopes and I also put the tags on my Christmas gifts with the wax seal. I don't want it to burn. Excuse my head. So first the most obvious would be to seal a letter. So we'll just put a little bit on here. And I'm going to have to melt some more wax to show you the rest. And then just right down in the center as best you can. Obviously you can see it oozed out on one side. So I probably didn't get the whole thing because I didn't put enough wax on there. But wait, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds. Once the wax starts to cool, then you can lift the seal off. Yeah, so you only got part of it. I needed more wax. But you get the idea. You can put little ribbons underneath it or, you know, whatever you want to do. So that's operator error. <laughs> or say you have, I just did this little divider piece on the jelly plate. But I just have this divider and I have some sari silk, sari silk <laughs> on here. So I can just put a little bit of the wax on top of there. Again, I think if I was looking straight down, in which case my head would be right in the middle of the camera lens, I would be getting this um, on there in the center. I need to blow this out because that's boiling. Again, I needed more wax. I don't know if you can see that design. It's really pretty. All right, I'm trying to get better at this. It's really not difficult. Okay, so then I have a tag, and I would like to put some, a bit of ribbon embellishment on here. So, 
I'm just going to go like that. Put quite a bit oops, on there without making too big of a mess. We in frame here, can you see? I hope. And again, not quite centered or enough wax. I'll get better at this. I kind of goobered it up there. But then I can also then go on top here and add more. Let's see how if we can get it better this time. I'll use the round one. I'm going with my head in here to try to get that centered better. There we go, that's better. See, if you look straight down at where you're going to place your design, you're going to get it centered better. So I'm going to let that cool off a little bit. And I'm just going to come in here on this older um, art journal page that I did. And I have this little embellishment here that I added. And I'm just going to put what's left of that wax right on this corner. Maybe it's starting to harden. you got to be kind of quick. Yeah, I probably don't have enough wax. I want to scoop it out like I would cake batter, but that's probably not a good idea because I'm sure it's probably still pretty hot. All right, let's see what we can do here just to get just a little bit on there. There, we got part of it. Anyways, you get the idea. There are a lot of applications beyond just the envelopes. But the other thing that you can do, let's do this one. Once they're cool, is you can take your metallic luster or um, any of your metallic waxes and just add that to the top for a little glimmer. If the if I had like a red or another color that wasn't so close to this, what am I using here? Gold Rush. Um, a little bit on the tag and the bow. But then you can further embellish it Maybe we can see it better on this one. You can just kind of highlight the high parts of the design. So that's it. Like I said, I will put the link to this company in the description below as well as the links to the products that I use, but they have lots of other products that you might want to take a look at um, and incorporate into your art arsenal. So I hope you enjoyed watching this little demo from Caspire, and I hope you will visit them and see what they have to offer. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.